Hello, I'm Ray. Welcome to another midweek message. Let's do the weather report first. We've had nothing but rain since 2023 began. It's everywhere is soaked, flooded, well not flooded quite, but the garden has had huge puddles in it. Nothing but rain. I'm waiting for a few dry days so I can get outside and get some jobs done. I've got a cup of tea here. It's five to eight Wednesday morning. I'm a bit late today. I don't know why I was awake half the night thinking. I must do this. I must. I've got to do the podcast. I must do this. I must do that in the garden. Once I start thinking in the middle of the night, that's it. I don't go back to sleep. I wonder whether you're the same. Okay, 12 degrees centigrade, which is 53 Fahrenheit. The wind, I can see from here, that poor old Union flag. Uh, I'm going to have to bring it down, I think, and check it. It, It's looking a little bit tatty, although it was new only, what, six months ago. The wind's coming from the west and it's fairly strong by the look of it. So where are we? 10, 14 millibars and the humidity is 97%. I suppose that's because of all the rain. I've heard from lots of you. Jerry, nice to hear from you. John, mentioning my Lister engine. Tony, Jessica, Ray, nice to hear from you all. And Mark, over there in Ireland. Mark sent me an audio message, which is good. I wonder what 2023 will bring. Let's hope it brings a decent summer and happiness and some peace and health, of course. We all need to be healthy. I don't know what it is recently, but so many people have been ill. I think there's flu going around here in the UK. I'm not too sure whether it's actual flu, because I remember (laughs) a friend of mine, he'd take Monday off work. Oh, I had flu. I had flu on Monday. It was dreadful. It wasn't flu. We don't have flu for one day. What it was, he would drink heavily over the entire weekend. And then by Monday, he was totally wrecked, hangover, feeling dreadful. So he'd go into work on Tuesday. Oh, I had flu yesterday. (laughs) It was awful. I'm keeping pretty healthy. Oh, Mark was asking uh, my age. I'm 71. No, I'm 72. This May, I'm 72. Stone the rooks. (laughs) What's that other saying I heard the other day? Not stone the crows or struth. Someone else came out with something. I forget what it was now. I'll remember in a minute. Oh, sadly, we're burying number one daughter's cat this weekend. We've got to prepare the the ground. We've got now down. What have we got down? We call it the graveyard. We've got, I think, three or four rabbits. This will be three cats, two rats, not wild rats. They are pet rats or were I think there's half a hamster that got chewed up by a cat so it is a sort of pet cemetery down there so that's sad they've had him 17 years long time isn't it although about right I think for a cat this coming Sunday's episode is all about I haven't got a clue do you know I'm running out of ideas how many episodes have there been now I think it well it must be two or three hundred I'll have to go back through them all and see what I haven't done. Oh, thank you to all those who have sent me more wartime stories. That's great, little ideas, bits and pieces. I'm not going to do another wartime episode, but I will add those during other episodes, if you see what I mean. (laughs) I hope you know what I mean, because I don't. I've got a note here from Colin. Hello, Colin. Have you got another prime minister yet in 2023? No, we're still on the same one. We're all waiting with bated breath. There's bound to be another Prime Minister and Chancellor of the Exchequer before too long, Colin. (laughs) And someone else here. Oh, Sally. Yes, hello, Sally from, where are you, America? Is the UK still on strike? Yes, I don't think it's quite a general strike, Sally. But uh, yes, most, uh, well, not most people on strike. That's, That's not right. But trains, I can't, there's so many now, the trains nurses i think there's a bus company somewhere on strike there's just so many which reminds me of the was it it was the 70s wasn't it i might mention a little bit more about that because i know when i mentioned it in an episode probably a couple of years ago the winter of discontent and the three-day working week power cuts i remember going to the pub and there were candles (laughs) candles on the bar there were power cuts in certain areas at certain times Perhaps I'll mention some of that on Sunday. Anyway, I'll leave you in peace now. I've rambled on long enough and I like to get the podcast episodes on eight o'clock and it's now ten past and my tea's going cold. Take care. See you all on Sunday. Bye-bye for now.